Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Mr. B Cook, subscribers, appreciate you. New viewers, subscribe. Today, I'm building off of one of my other videos, which was a chicken marinade, and we're gonna make, it was a Greek chicken marinade. Today, we're gonna make a Greek chicken salad. Now know this, this is the chicken that I was marinating from the other video. We're using the same marinade, you can check that one out. You can serve this over a salad, which I'm doing, or you can serve it with quinoa, rice, brown rice, whatever floats your boat. But I figured since it's Greek, it made sense to do kind of a Greek salad, inspired Greek salad. Let's talk about what we have over here before we jump to grilling this chicken. Traditional Greek salad has cucumbers, kalmata olives, tomatoes. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't have some kind of lettuce. I'm using a mixed greens lettuce. Uh, and I'm also using just, uh, I forget the name of the olive, but um, regular green olives. So, and then of course feta cheese. Traditional dressing is usually some kind of oil, vinegarish. Uh, so that's what this is. This is uh, extra virgin olive oil. Um, so it is six tablespoons of olive oil uh, and two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar uh, to make a vinaigrette. I added one teaspoon of uh, sea salt and one teaspoon of black pepper to make the dressing. I like to serve it on the side. Traditionally, they would over the top. Um, this gives you a little more control on whether or not you want to use it. Also, if you've got any kind of restrictions, feel free to leave the feta cheese off. I get it. Um, don't come at me for that one. All right, let's uh, talk about what we got going on over here. I've got my grill pan. This is a grill pan. If you don't have a grill pan, you can do it on the grill, or you can just use a regular pan. Five, it's medium heat for me. It's been on for a little bit. I'm using chicken stock uh, to keep it from sticking, but you could use oil, butter, uh, whatever floats your boat. This is gonna be healthier, that's the key here. And that was about eh, three or four tablespoons. And lay them right on. There's four in here. This is about two and a quarter pounds of chicken. Uh, we're gonna go about uh, five minutes a side, five to six minutes per side. Just remember that uh, it's chicken, so you wanna make sure it's cooked so the juices run clear and it should be cooked all the way through. So use your judgment. If it's not done in five minutes, feel free to let it go. I wouldn't say that it'll take more than 10 minutes a side. I'd be shocked if it goes over six. We'll see you next. All right, it's been about six minutes. I'm just going to flip these over. You can see that I still have a little bit of the stock left, so it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's just keeping it so that I can flip them easy. And then you can see that the first side is pretty well done. I'm not expecting big, dark grill marks. If it was on the grill, I would expect those lines. Um, something to mention. I know a lot of you out there have complained about chicken not being juicy, especially boneless, skinless chicken breast, because it's white meat and there's not a lot of fat. Marinate or brine, and we'll do a video on brining too, but uh, this is just one of the marinades that I use. Uh, marinating gets the juices in there so you don't cook it out and it stays nice and moist. See you in another five. It's been about four minutes, and you can see I'm getting the browns that I want, just to signify that I'm done. I'm flipping it back over just to get a little bit of browns on the other side. That's really just for presentation, nothing else. Uh, so I'm going to do about two minutes just to get a couple grill marks on the other side and then we'll put it to the cutting board. I'm just going to set these over and let them rest for about a minute or two. They don't need a whole lot of rest like you would with a beef. But uh, I want to let them cool just a, just a little bit then we'll cut them up and we'll be plating. Alright so it's been resting for a little bit. All I'm doing is just uh, putting some quick slices into it. And then we'll just set it right across. We're doing family style right? Just like so. There you go guys, that's three of the chicken breasts on top. I do have an extra one. Whether or not we get to that will depend on how hungry my children are. This is what it may look like if you played it the, the way I do. Uh, and then I'm just gonna do a very light drizzle of that oil and vinegar. It's not even a full tablespoon. Awesome. Nice, easy, again, marinate your chicken for four to overnight. You know the drill. Subscribe, share, like, comments down below. Tell me what you do for your chicken, and check back for the next video. Otherwise, take care.